Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this section of the course, um, I'm going to show you how to account for depreciation, okay? And how to charge depreciation in the income statement and also how to charge depreciation, uh, how to reduce the value of the asset that we bought in the balance sheet. So to do that, um, we're going to do that using journal entries. So here, let's see how we can go about it. All right, that's perfect. So here we are saying we want to do the journal entry. So um, here we choose an account that we want. For some reason, that account is not opening yet. Okay. So here, let's choose... Um, accumulated depreciation okay now let's use um, uh, amortization expense let's use amortization expense standing for depreciation back here so amortization expense we debit that by we debit that by this figure here right so I'm saying depreciation expense for delivery vehicle okay and um, <clears throat> okay here we don't need um, right and here we choose accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation right which is this So let me move that up. Let me move that up. Let me move that down. Okay, that's perfect. So I think with this, that will be done. Um, so that's journal entry. Perfect. All right, that's okay. And as you can see here, um, we're saying Accumulated depreciation is this. Then property planet equipment is this. Okay. And which is great. All right. So let's see. So here we are seeing what has happened. This is that is resulted in the reduction of this property planet equipment by this amount. Okay. So the total long term assets now are 95900.42. So let's go back and see how much um, that has been charged in the profit and loss. Because in the profit and loss, we must see that. So in the profit and loss, we are seeing amortization expense 49.58 for, uh, and the selling rain travel utilities and all that okay so in the next section let's look in detail into these reports